Hello, today we are making a circuit for finding out if there is any object present in our path or not. Uh, we will use this sensor 8CSR04 and we will also find out how far along that object is, right? How, what is the distance in inches or in centimeters? Normally on the internet, you usually just see the code for this sensor and ESP8266. We will add one more thing. We will put an LED over here and we will uh, switch that LED on if the value of the distance found by this sensor is greater than a particular uh, value, any value you want. And we will switch that LED off if the value is less than a particular value. The parts you need for this are a sensor, HCSR04 sen ultrasonic sensor, uh, the microprocessor, ESP8266, a breadboard, some jumper fires, and obviously an LED, right? So this is the sensor. It has four pins. VCC obviously for the input for the power supply, ground for ground, and these two pins trigger an echo for sending and receiving signals. And let's see what they will exactly do. So basically the trigger pin will transmit a high frequency sound of 40 kilohertz and it will emit that sound, it will go on, and if there is any object present, it will hit that object and then it will bounce back. Now our receiver pin, which is echo, will receive it and it will calculate, it will basically, echo will uh, give us the duration of transmission and re reception of the signal. So it will give us that duration. And once we get the duration, the time basically, once we get the time, uh, we can just find out the distance using the distance formula, the famous distance formula. Distance equals to speed into time. That's it. Now remember that the time given to us by this echo pin will be the double of the actual time. Why? Because remember, the transmitter will transmit the wave. So the wave will take time to go to the object and then it will hit the object and, th and then it will come back. So time will be taken to come back, right? So this will actually be the double of the actual time. So we just have to divide the time by two so that we just, you know, take the actual value, not the double value. So that's it. Speed of the sound in the air into time divided by two. Now we know the speed of sound in the air, the velocity of sound in the air, and at this temperature, it is usually normally this value. So let's dive into the code. We will write the code first, and then I will show you how to make the circuit. Let's quickly write the code. So the trigger pin that we will use is GPIO 12. The echo pin is GPIO 14, and we'll also use another pin for the LED that we talked about. So we will use the D2 pin or GPIO 4 pin for the LED. Let's define some macros. Then we will be needing some variables. First one is the time variable. I'm going to name it duration long is the data type long duration and then a float variable for the centimeter distance in centimeter let's write our setup function so we will begin the communication at this frequency 9600 you can use any other frequency this is the basically the baud rate you can use any other just make sure whatever baud rate you have chosen here should be chosen over here too right so if you have chosen 9600 over here, then you should choose that as well here. Or whatever you write over there should be chosen here. These are different frequencies. Okay, let's move on. Now let's set the pin modes for our pins that we will be using. The mode of trigger pin is set as output. The mode of echo pin is set as input. We need another pin that we will use to switch on and off our LED. This pin here. That's it. So our setup function is complete. Now let's complete the loop function. This will clear the trigger pin. Let's give a delay of two microseconds. This will emit a high frequency signal, a high frequency sound. So the sound will be emitted for 10 microseconds and then we will switch it off. That's it. 
Now let's read the distance from the echo pin. Sorry, the, the time duration from the echo pin. So the distance in centimeter is time into speed of sound. And we are dividing two because we talked about it. Now let's convert this to inches. Let's add that additional thing that we were doing. If this distance is greater than any particular value, you can choose any value. I'm going to choose two feet. So, for, uh, you know, 12 inches comprises one feet. So for two feet, I should write 12, 24 inches. So if the value is greater than, uh, the distance value is greater than 24, two feet, then we are telling it to switch our LED on. So just write digital right, just give it a high sound, high signal, sorry. That's it. That's it, it will switch on. And let's add another else block so that it is switched off as well. This is not just one time. This will switch it off. That's it, so easy, right? Okay, now let's quickly print our output, our distance on the serial monitor, this one here, serial monitor, and then we are done with our program. That's it, we are done with our program. Let's quickly see how to create the circuit. A breadboard right here, ESP8266, and we have some jumper wires, some more wires, the data cable, and we have a cute little LED. Now let's put this all together. Remember these are connected like this and these lines are connect connected like this. So we can't put our ESP anyway like this. It's not even possible but you, you can't do it like this. So we have to put it like this. Let's put it right here. Okay it's not it's quite wide right so I can't do it I can't put it like this so I'm gonna put it here like this so that I get a wide range of pins to work with later on let's begin so according to the connections where is our SR04 This is the S H C S R zero four. I forgot to show it before. So these are the four pins. I think you can see here. It's VCC, trigger, echo, and ground. I'm gonna connect them here like this together. These three pins are connected. I need one more for the fourth pin. I'm gonna connect it here. That's it, right? Okay, now for the VCC, we need to put it in the V in. And you can see this is female jumper wire, so I can't put it in the breadboard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these extra wires. I'm gonna put one here. Right, you can see. Now the first pin is VCC. We will put the VCC pin here in V in. You can see this V in right here. The next one is trigger, the next yellow pin. So trigger will go to D6. Next one is echo. Echo is the orange wire. So echo will go in D5. And the last one is the ground pin. So you can use any ground. I'm going to use this one right here. Now our circuit for SR04 is complete. We just have one more thing to do and that is the LED. Let's put the LED over here. Okay, remember the, the longer leg is anode and the other one is cathode. So anode will go in the positive. Anode is the positive one, cathode is the negative one. 
Okay. So my anode is upwards and this the downward leg is my cathode. This is our LED. Now we have to give power to this LED. Remember we used the pin D2 in our code to power this on. Okay, you can see here D0, D1, D2. So I'm going to use D2, this pin right here. One, two, three. The third one is D2. I'm going to use D2 to power this LED on. And this one was anode, right? Yeah, this one was anode. So we will power the anode. And then we just have to give power to the cathode. I'm going to use the longer cable. It's quite far away. Also, you should put the resistor here. I'm not putting it because I'm going to use it with my laptop. The power is not too much. It's not going to burn. But you should, if you want to put the resistor, which you should, you should put it with the um, uh, cathode. And I'm going to put this to the ground pin. This one, second last one. Right beside V in. That's it, my circuit is complete.